called Sylvia Senaburia. I'm a member of parliament for Mitiana district. And I represent everybody. I represent men, I represent women, I represent children. Uh, I've been in parliament. This is my seventh year now. Ah. It's my second term in parliament, and I intend to stand for another term. Um, That's great. It's one important. Uh, the issue of reproductive health commodities is very important because uh, we need we need uh, these commodities. Men and women need commodities. They need condoms. They need contraceptives. They need everything which is uh, to do with reproduction. And there is a, a scarcity of uh, commodities throughout the country. As a network of women parliamentarians, we've just been carrying out a, a program, a, a fact-finding program in our district hospitals up to the lowest facilities. And we found that there are so many things which are missing uh, in terms of reproductive health uh, commodities. And so when I got this invitation to come for this uh, workshop, I thought it was very important because, first of all, I'm, I wanted to know why commodities are lacking in the, in the hospitals. I also wanted to know what I, as a member of parliament, can do. And I also wanted to know what is the perceptions and feelings of other stakeholders as far as the role of parliament is in promoting reproductive health commodity security. And last, um, well, first of all, I want to thank them for what they are providing. But I also want to tell them that we still need more because uh, we've been told that there's a shortage and uh, for the next year there's a question mark as to whether the country will have, actually the, the country will not have, it's not a question, it has been brought up clearly in black and white that they're going to have a shortage mainly of condoms. So we need donors to come and support the country, provide more funding uh, to ensure that we have enough uh, uh, reproductive health commodities. But also, uh, we've seen that uh, sometimes donors bring in commodities more than what can be consumed at that particular time and more than what the national medical stores can have in their stores. So we want them to, uh, their supply, we want it to be consistent with what uh, the national medical stores can absorb at a particular point in time. Uh, we know that it's cheaper for them to procure in bulk, but then it's not it's no use for, uh, for them if they could, they could procure in bulk, deliver in bulk, but at the, at the end of the day, we see uh, an expiry of the drugs, and then we have to look for funds. Like now we're looking for 800 million to, uh, to dispose of the expired drugs. Those 800 million would have been used to provide drugs, to provide commodities in my district. So using them to dispose of expired drugs is a, a real, real waste to a country as uh, lacking as Uganda. So I would call upon the donors to ensure that we, you know, we work hand in hand with them to ensure that we don't lose out at the end of that day.